Well, I guess the snow came after all. It didn't look like it was gonna come. But it sure is here. Diddle, 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 diddle. So, are you taking a seat? Oh, you can choose three. Right. Or you can choose as much as you want for a dollar a piece. I have to put my new layer on. All right, we spent about, I don't know how many hours in this wonderful place right there. We had breakfast, we played a game called Rummy Cub, and it is 12-ish now. Check-in is not until 3. Uh, I don't even know, maybe it's after 12 already. But we are going to walk to see what's going on. The Wi-Fi right here wasn't that good. So we are going to see if there's any other place with better Wi-Fi. We're going to walk in that area just to see. Maybe we can check in a little bit early. And we get to show you this winter wonderland. Okay, so we check. Check-in is not until 2. We have an hour to spare. Now we're going to try to find some Wi-Fi somewhere just because the other place had not a lot of good Wi-Fi. No. So, like, it was like, it didn't move at all. So let's, let's have a look at this here place. Doggy! Do it, you know, together or one or the other. You don't have to do both of them. Both of them. So we're here at the outpost, and somebody asked us to do an interview. So we'll be doing an interview. I'll tell you kind of like where to look for it once I find out. Well, this is our room right here with the tiniest beds on earth. Uh, it's kind of cold in here. Supposedly, this is. It's just gonna do something. I don't know. It doesn't seem like it. Water, bathtub, toilet, and then I might even buy some wood. I don't even care because this seems like a cool thing to do. <laughs> so we are in our motel room and um, I guess what's bothering me is that the heat isn't really working. We're going to have to get firewood. There's no Wi-Fi, which is tough for YouTubers, right? We can't really upload anything. Um, there's no laundry. <laughs> like, they gave us buckets to do our laundry in. Which, okay. But how to dry our clothes? They didn't give us any hair dryers. And it's just kind of like you're spending $140 for what? Like, these are the tiniest beds ever. Great. Such is a hard life, right? And um, I really don't want to complain, but I kind of have to a little bit because if you're getting $140, look at them. Look at them coming in here with the firewood. And the snow is like... Thank goodness. Got a lot harder. I guess what bothers me, it's $140 for really nothing. Like, no heat, no hair dryer, no internet. And that might not be a lot of money for people who live in California, but that's a lot of money for us. And we're sharing, of course, the cost. But you would think for a hotel room or motel room, which they explicitly call it a motel room, because they also have cabins available, but they were like, no, this is a motel room. You would think there'd be a little bit more than what we got. So he, anyway, he did say, yeah, that the heat will warm it up. The fires for ambiance. I said, well, we'll go ahead and do it anyway. <laughs> Great.
What do you think? When did we do this in the 1920s? Um, we definitely didn't do it in 1920 with an orange one. No, I know, but what what a what? I don't know. I think my grandma says they used to use a washboard. So let's see, she's 90. She's born around 30. Maybe even the 50s. Well, we're probably only 70 years behind. Gentlemen, your lady working that laundry, <laughs> 1950s style. Look at her scrub. Don't show my underwear. Oh, I didn't know you had underwear in your hand. <laughs> I was trying to show how good you're scrubbing. No. That's how we dry things up in here. Hey, let's, I'm gonna... Still happy to have a room though. Okay, we're on our way back to meet Dispatch and Plus One. I am not hungry at all, but I'm just gonna socialize. Because one of my goals for this PCT through hike is to be more social. And, and Chap says I'm doing a really good job because he knows how I was on the AT. Uh, so I'm, I'm trying this whole social thing. And somebody can't wait to be social right there. He's running. One, two, three, go. <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding me? Well, that completes our zero day, which was really mostly comprised chap and i were talking about how it didn't really feel like a zero because we didn't have the same place to stay in so when you have to move around you don't get to do all the chores that you need to do so i'm pretty tired <laughs> um i also want to talk about you know me complaining about the hotel room a little bit and you know i was thinking about that and you know, some people, they watch YouTube just to see the good and the fun part about through hiking. But if that's something that you are interested in, then I probably wouldn't be the channel for you. I try to kind of show my feelings and emotions as much as I am willing to show. Obviously, I don't show everything, but the things that I think that I can share, that I do. And, um, you know, when you are negative on a platform such as YouTube and you have a certain amount of people that watch you, you do expose yourself to being scrutinized to your negativity. And uh, I'm sure that when a person complains about a hotel room, they could be conceived as spoiled, weak, negative. And I understand that. Um, I wouldn't call myself spoiled, definitely. I didn't grow up spoiled at all. We didn't really have a lot of money, but that's another story for some other point. But I think it took me complaining on screen and then thinking about it to realize that in the grand scheme of things, the $140 isn't really much for what it gave us, which is protection from the elements. I was thinking if I was in the middle of the woods in this snowstorm right now and somebody would say to me give me 140 dollars i'll put you in a shed with a little bit of fire and you'll be protected from the elements i would somehow somewhere find those 140 dollars so this is definitely better than a shed right i mean i have fire i have protection i have a chap is like ah. we have a heater we have a shower we have a toilet so it's definitely worth it for what it gave, but it's just so much money for me or for us that, I don't know, at that moment it was a little frustrating, but I do wanna say that I came to realization that it's enough and it's uh, the right amount for what it gave.
which is protection from a really crazy snowstorm. I mean, they said it was just like some snow, but I think, how many inches do you think it snowed today, chap? Five or six, Five or six inches. In the middle of it, we had also a ice storm, wind gusts. It's really windy. I mean, it's crazy out there. So it was definitely worth it. So with that said, we are going to head out tomorrow. There will still be snow out there. And we are planning to, um, we don't know exactly how much we'll hike. We'll hike a certain amount, but we'll probably still be at this elevation. So there'll probably still be snow and there's still wind gusts tomorrow. There won't be any falling snow, like sunshine, but the snow will be still on the ground. So that should be interesting and fun to watch. So hope you, uh, hope we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.